Welcome to episode three of Plot Twist, my new Excel chart series where we turn boring data into unique visualizations. Trust me, you won't see these charts anywhere else. In today's episode, we are going to learn how to liven up our charts by creating an image bar chart. Let's get started. An image bar chart is a very simple way to bring your bar chart to life by replacing the bars in the chart with images. So for example, here we have units sold data for different soft drinks, and we need to visualize this data. This is a perfect opportunity for an image bar chart. First things first, let's go ahead and insert a chart by selecting the data, navigating to the insert tab, opening the bar or column chart dropdown, and selecting a 2D column chart. Now that we've created our chart, we need to import each image that we want to add to our chart into the worksheet. I already saved images of each of these drinks to my desktop for the sake of time, but you can easily download images off of Google by right-clicking any image and selecting Save Image As. Or if you don't feel like leaving Excel, you can also insert one of Excel stock images by heading to the Insert tab, opening the picture dropdown, selecting place over cells, and then clicking stock images. Because I already saved the images, I'm just going to import them by opening the picture dropdown again, selecting place over cells, and this time selecting this device. Now I'm just going to select the images and click insert to add them to the worksheet. One trick I like to do is before we add these images to the chart, I like to crop any white space out of the image so that we don't have a bunch of blank white space in our chart. To crop an image, select the image, navigate to the Picture Format tab, select Crop, and then crop out as much white space as possible by dragging the sides in. Repeat this for each image, and once all of the extra white space is gone, we are ready to insert them into our chart. To insert an image into the chart, all we have to do is paste the image into the column. So let's start with Pepsi by selecting it and pressing Ctrl X to cut the image, because we don't need this image in our worksheet anymore. Next, select just the Pepsi column. Be careful when you do this because you typically have to click twice to select a singular column, and then press Control V to paste the image into the column. See, that wasn't too bad, right? Now we can just repeat this for each of the images. So I'm going to select Fanta, press Control X to cut the image, select the Fanta column in the chart, and press Control V to paste the image. Next, let's tackle Diet Coke by once again pressing Control X, selecting the Diet Coke column, and pressing Control V. Last but not least, let's add the sprite image by repeating these steps. All right, now that we've replaced all of the bars in our chart with images, let's adjust the chart's formatting a little bit to clean it up and make it easier to read. First, let's adjust the amount of space between each image in the chart to make the soft drinks more proportionate by right-clicking any image, selecting Format Data Series, and adjusting the gap width to 55. Much better. Finally, I like to remove the chart's grid line so that it's just the images in the chart by selecting the grid lines in the chart and pressing the Delete key. Now our image bar chart is ready to go, and the best part is that the height of each image will automatically update to reflect the number of units sold. How cool is that? An image bar chart is a fun and easy way to spruce up boring bar charts. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode of Plot Twist.